Thank you for choosing to watch another free e-learning tutorial from dacanane.com. In today's lesson, I will be showing you how to set up a mail merge document using Word 2011 for Mac. Learning how to mail merge is a great productivity time saver for the busy professional. So if that's you, stick around for the next 10 minutes. So let's not delay a moment longer and dive right into today's free learning. The version of Office I'm working on in this tutorial is Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac. And again, I'm going to show you how you can set up a um, mail merge uh, using this particular software because it varies um, slightly from the um, 2013 Office for PC I showed you um, or did a tutorial for earlier on. So um, just to reiterate, really, um, to mail merge you need to have a database or need to call information from a database so in this case we're going to be working with Excel again and if you have not seen or don't know how to use or are not confident with Excel uh, if you click on the links below here you will be able to um, see um, some other tutorials that I've made about Excel what you can see here is my um, database that I've already created and what you can see here is that I've set up this um, database for a set of employees uh, organized by um, family name, um, first name, sorry, in the first instance, and family name. Um, and they are where they're currently working, which building in the organization they're working in, what department within that building they're working in, and what the office number is. In other words, the whole point about this is to create an asset register so that um, the company knows exactly where what um, asset has been assigned to which employee and where that employee is so they should be able to locate that asset at any particular time and so what we're going to do is we're going to mail merge this information so that uh, Leonard Mortensen will get a letter um, indicating that, um, that he has been uh, um, allocated the HP NV 17 inch laptop and a Samsung Galaxy S4 um, mobile phone with those, with those relevant serial numbers now the thing to note about this is that when you mail merge you need to make sure that you put all the information um, rele relevant to a particular person on an individual line. Now these you can make the, you can make as many columns as you like so we could have asset serial number one, asset number two, asset number three so you could do this for an entire department but you need to make sure that everything's in a row and that's the key thing and there's no, no um, limits to the amount of length that you can add to this as well. So once we've got that sorted we can now switch across to um, Word and here is our document and so again you can see here I've got this kind of standard uh, blank generic letter that we are now going to import some con some work into so I'll just uh, tutu about here you just put in here we'll just put in here laptop Down below here, we'll put mobile phone, and then we will put just a bit further down, just just generic this, make this a bit more generic. I'll leave it, leave that as it is, and then finally at the bottom here, signed yes, correct. So let's start this whole process off. And so um, what we need to do now is we need to come across to the top here to tools, and as we come down here, we can look at the mail merge manager. We click on this. It's, this expands as we do each kind of um, filter here. So you can see it's a six step process. We're going to click on the drop down box here and we are going to create a new document, a letter. Here it is, we've got it right here. Once we've expanded that, we can now get our list. So we click on get list, a new data source. That means we're going to create one straight away, which we won't. We're going to open an existing data source. So we need to look for am I on desktop? Yes, stock. Stock register. Here we go. Click open. The file needs to be opened by Excel. Yes, we need to give it, give it permission to do that. Just this is going to churn for a little bit. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. Yes, we're going to open the entire worksheet. Click OK. Right. So now what we've got here is this uh, insert the placeholders. So you can see down here these are the these placeholders relate to the top row, so I'll just show you what I mean by that. So these placeholders have been created that relate to these, this bold text across the top here. So I'm going to use those and drop those into my key places on, onto my document. 
So, obviously, this letter starts from Acme Widgets, dear. So we're just going to drag first name across to here. Dear first name. Let's just format this a bit more. Good. Right, so now in terms of laptop, we know that's asset one. So we need to scroll down to here. Asset one. And I'm going to put a hyphen in between those two. An asset one serial number. And I'll do the same for mobile phone. Let's come down to here, just scroll down, asset two, and put a hyphen and a space, asset two, serial number. And you can just keep going down. So we'll just scroll on down this um, document. We'll just put in a few more here. They need to be, this document person needs to confirm which department they're in. Uh, let's come down to here, yeah, department, no, building first. Drag building us here and then put a return in and then department. And we've got something going on here in terms of formatting. That's fine, we can sort that out in a moment. Office. So you can see we've got um, something odd going on here. So come back to home. Yeah, let's come back to here. So highlight this. This is to home 11. Um, so we need to make this to home. 11, it should be the same, there we go, right, so we just brought it back up to size. Now, what this illustrates, though, is that we can actually, that looks even bigger now, let's, that's Calibri, that's why, let's make this Calibri, that looks better. Okay, so what it means, if we come back up to here, we can actually highlight this content here and we can format it. So I want to actually make this bold and I want to make it stand out in colour so I'm going to make it red so that this part of the letter stands out because this is the important information. So you can see that I can actually format the placeholder. Just make this bold as well. There. So this red uh, bold Color will be uh, related when we print out. We'll see this now. Finally, we'll just finish this off. Click sign, give guys some space to sign, and we'll just put some more details in here first name, space, family name, and that's it. So, what we've now done is we've now created a generic document that relates to a database. We can now print these out. So, let's just let's scroll on down through here. Let's have a look what else, what else we've got to look at through here. So there, we don't need to filter recipients at the moment. What we can now do is preview results. So if this little icon here, ABC, if we click on View Merge Data, we click on this, and we'll see that Leonard Mortensen was the first guy. Leonard, he's been uh, this issued the HP Envy Samsung Galaxy S4, like we said at the beginning of the tutorial. If we scroll on down here at the very end here, we've got Leonard Mortensen, so we know that's right. So now we can just quickly if we look down here um, at the bottom of this document down here we can see preview results if we want to look at the second result we can click on this next record icon here this is Maureen Rumble so we can go all the way up to here and there we go so that's it we can see that the mail merge has worked to our satisfaction what we can do now is go to point six and we can merge to printer or we can merge into a new document or we can generate an email message so to print and I don't have a a printer connected to this particular computer but if you just click on print it will try and print there we go and there's the printed document and I can just click print thanks for watching this free tutorial your support is important to us and we value your feedback so please leave a comment below and also don't forget to like us finally if you learned a lot from this tutorial and you want to learn more, why not subscribe to us and you'll be automatically informed of our latest tutorials when we publish them. So click on the link above to subscribe. Thanks.